Welcome to the Carburetor Channel. Frank Tufano put up a video this morning. You guys keep asking and asking and asking. Frank, what type of routine do you follow? Frank. <sighs> Don't you hate when people do that? You know, it's only irritating because it's gotten so obvious that that is a covert way of making yourself look like hot stuff. You guys keep asking like and you're asking so important asking. to people. You guys keep asking. And it seems like he was pretending that his video was not a response video to Vegan Gaines' video yesterday about Frank and his muscle and his workout routine. Frank, what's your workout? Vegan Gaines also questioned whether Frank is using steroids. And the day before that, you might remember that I questioned the same thing. Yeah, Vegan Gaines' video could have been a response to my video. Here's the video. Yeah, it was about the food shortage. Had nothing to do with his muscle gain. Oh, I want to address that too. I have so much to say. I agreed with half of what he said here. And I saw his muscles. Hey guys, it's the carburetor. And Frank Tufano just put up a video that I want to watch. Oh, how everyone has such a short-term memory. Holy crap. What has he been doing? So, the, these muscles here surprised me. I started suggesting that he had been using some gear. And we're going to look into if, if I was way off in making that assumption. So now we get to Frank's new video just up. Frank, what's your workout? And, to your possible surprise, it's a full body routine. Before we get started, you know, I don't have an educational background in sports physiology outside of my personal training certificate. Okay, no one's surprised by that. I should say I know some things about bodybuilding. Despite the fact that some people would say I look like a starving girl. That was Vegan Games that said that yesterday. Just yesterday, I heard someone on TV say you learn a lot from your failures. <laughs> she said, when I was successful at Whatever she was successful in, she said, I didn't learn a damn thing then. And that is so true. And that makes me feel better about being unsuccessful at so many things. I've ended up just accumulating knowledge. Because when you're not successful, you end up continuing to look at why you're not successful. And just learning more and more and more. I'm an information junkie already. I think that Frank is under 33, maybe under 30. That would mean that my bodybuilding education began before Frank was born. And I'm just saying, I'm not trying to put him down. That'll come later in the video. <laughs> because of what I saw in Vegan Gaines' video, I was just stunned. I had to just stop in the middle and come back to it the next day. Now, you may recall that I said recently that I would not make response videos anymore. I'm delaying that a little bit. I just have to do this. We'll see how it goes, see what the response is. If people just don't want to hear information that's actually going to help you, then I can give up. To your possible surprise, it's a full body routine. It makes sense. It's it makes the sense. most obvious one. The goal of bodybuilding is to take the muscle to failure as frequently as possible. Yes, this is what I was saying yesterday. Watching Frank do those workouts, you're not going to get to failure like that. And now he's saying full body workout. I guess he's saying he just keeps doing those weak exercises, light weights, and just do them enough over and over. See, that we didn't see yesterday. And then he says, that's where failure happens. Well, that's like an endurance athlete. And what happens to endurance athletes is they get real skinny because your failure is running out of energy. It's not that you're bringing a particular muscle to failure to the point where it thinks it needs to become stronger. You're just running out of energy this way. You see, those are two different things. What's really crazy is how easily the media is able to continually lie and gaslight the mass. Gaslighting means you blame other people for things that you caused. And Frank saying that the media is gaslighting the public? I don't think he knows what gaslighting is. Let's see what other stupid beliefs Frank has. Is staying locked inside like a rat for six months normal? To most people it is. Everyone is sitting inside with half a refrigerator full of food. One world government. These evil, satanic, crazy, psycho lunatics control over people's minds with the poison in the food and the water. The government is showing their hand that they can starve out the population. I, I think this is a testament to the absurdity of America, man. Like, I, I want to laugh about this. So that last clip there looks like Frankie thinks that the government is making it look like there's a food shortage. Why would you have a pandemic not cause a food shortage? Food shortages have happened before, and he just used that history to suggest they're all faked so you can create 
a communist government. And that doesn't hold water either. That's conservative bullshit. The world's not full of communism. It's full of socialism, and conservatives conflate those two forms of government. I'm going to stop myself from getting deeper into politics, and I'm going to show you pictures of me at the grocery store where I was trying to buy huge bags of rice, and they just didn't have them. The store manager told me that rice has been a big problem since the COVID-19. Also in my food shortage video from a couple days ago, I mentioned the problem of carnivores not being able to easily store meat in the amounts that they eat. And then I found these comments underneath Frank's video. But if you're interested in any connection between Frank and conservative politics, I found a conservative under his video and replied to him. It is crazy. It is absurd. And we're just getting started here on what is wrong with what Frank is saying right here and with his workouts and his seeming progress, which uh, I've got a video coming out just on that that is going to blow everything out of the water. I like to think my physique I've obtained through my personal experience as a 100% lifetime natural. There it is. <coughs> There's the response to Vegan Gains video just 12 hours ago. He, he probably won't acknowledge Vegan Gains here. His title doesn't say it's a response, but you can see here that this seems to be a response to Vegan Gains. And notice how Frank's wording that. He's not on the defense claiming he's 100% natural. He's not saying, I am a natural bodybuilder. Because if he did that, there would be the suggestion that there's people out there saying he's not. And that would get other people thinking he's not. So he's just putting it in casually, yeah, yeah, covertly, while saying something else. That is a strategic technique there. Just a half a day after his adversary, Vegan Gaines, suggests he is not natty, not natural. Okay, what do I think about that? Well, I did question that, but I'm not sure. Maybe I'll have some more information on that in a couple days. Ignorance seems to be just like taking over like pod people. Bodybuilding, I don't really look at people's credentials. I look at what they look like. And right there. That is a big mistake. And I said that, I think it was in my second or third video that I ever made in early 2013. And I have not changed my opinion at all since then. I've been telling people this for now seven years, that you can't just follow someone who has a lot of muscle and do what they do and expect to get those same results in muscle. And that's because the biggest determining factor in getting muscle is not your workout routine. These YouTubers want you to believe that because they can sell that to you. <laughs> that's something sellable, something they can make money from. And also diet. It's not your diet either. It's a little bit of both, but it is mostly something else. I think Frank has been potted. And if you keep watching him and ignoring all the people telling you that you are next to be potted, then you have doomed yourself to becoming a zombie.